Today I have here the MacBook Air from the year early 2015. As you can see, it hasn't been updated for a while. It has the macOS Yosemite on it. It's 10.10.5. But the main thing I want to do today is to upgrade the stock hard drive, that is the 128 gigabytes of SSD, to the OWC Aura SSD. 240 gigabytes of SSD and by doing that I will upgrade the Mac OS 2 so the Mac OS Yosemite will be upgraded to the much much newer Mac OS Big Sur so what we have to do is to unscrew all these screws around the bottom Then open up the back cover As you can see this is the SSD 128 gigabytes This is the battery plug we need to unplug it first to disconnect the battery pack So here you can see after it has been unplugged, it's now safe to do all the other operations. So this is as simple as you can see. This is the Samsung 120 gigabytes of SSD memory that we will swap by using this Aura SSD that has 240 gigabytes. In the package, I saw this. You can pause and read the important notice. It says that the host computer needs to be with the High Sierra installed on it. As I said previously, it has the Mac OS Yosemite. It is 10.10. .10. Let's see what happens. Here is the new drive. Let's take it out and plug it in. has been replaced. So now we just need to plug in the battery connector. And here is my macOS Big Sur bootable flash. And now let's try and boot the macOS Big Sur on the new 240 gigabytes of SSD. Okay, install Mac OS Big Sur. So the Mac OS Big Sur flash is booting. That's a good sign. Now let's wait for the setup. Language will be English and I will choose this utility. Here you can see it recognizes the OWC Aura Pro X2, 240 gigabytes of SSD storage. So for the first time, let's format it. Click Erase. Let's give it a name, a classic name. Macintosh say SSD and in the format section you need to choose APFS and click erase it's done just click done and here you can see the new Macintosh SSD drive that has APFS volume it's empty let's close the window and just click install Mac OS Big Sur and click continue. Follow the installation process and you're done. Three, three. This is the bootable flash. Don't click on it. You need to click on the Macintosh SSD and it says 
Your Mac needs a firmware update in order to install this volume. Please select macOS Extended Journal volume instead. OK, let's go back. So let's restart. And this time, we'll need to click Command R for a recovery mode. Starting Internet Recovery, have to choose the Wi-Fi network. Let's click Disk Utility, continue. And here's the trick. Just click View and show all devices. So now we can see this APFS SSD as a container beneath the main SSD name. And now we click on this Macintosh SSD and then we click Volume Minus and delete it. After that, click Erase. And now we have macOS Extended Journals. This one we need to choose. So click that. Let's say we write again Macintosh SSD and click Erase. So we just deleted the container that was the APFS. And now it should be Macintosh SSD with the Mac OS Extended Journal format on it. Close the window and now we'll hope for the best and just click Install Mac OS Big Sur. Maybe it will update the firmware for the Aura SSD by OWC Drive. Agree. Now click this SSD. Yes, and we see now the Continue button. Just click on it and the installation process has been started. Let's connect the MacBook Air to a power source, so it's charging, and let's wait for the installation to complete. The installation process has just been started. As we can see, it's 29 minutes remaining, and after that I'll be back. And after 29 minutes, the MacBook Air is booting up, and soon we should see the welcome screen to the macOS Big Sur. And finally, the macOS Big Sur has been successfully installed on the new OWC Aura SSD 240GB drive. So now we need to choose the language, connect to the Wi-Fi, select that the privacy, migration assistant, not now. Now you need to sign in with your Apple ID. Now we need to agree to the terms, create the user account. Now it's setting up the iCloud account. You can customize the settings, enable location services, Share analytics with Apple, continue, screen time, let's set that up later, Siri, we won't enable it, firewall disk encryption, we don't need it right now, continue, let's choose the light theme, and the Mac is setting up, and the Mac OS Big Sur has been installed, so now we can remove this bootable flash, command eject, finally we can safely screw in all these tiny screws so we know that the new SSD from OWC is working properly. The macOS Big Sur has been installed. Now we can see about this Mac that it runs the macOS Big Sur version 11.0.1 .1 on this early 2015 MacBook Air. And if you like this video, subscribe to this channel and my Instagram profile at take you through as well. Take care and let's meet in the next episode of Tech You Through.